Hey, what's up, everybody? This is David Warren, Dave King Los Angeles, LearningCut.com. And these are some of the uh, guards that I like to use. Some people call them guards, clips, what have you. But these are just the ones that I prefer to use. Uh, on my wall seniors, I always use this uh, number one, it's the one eighth, or the uh, half, which is a uh, one sixteenth. These go very good for the blending process. Um, most of the time, the two work, work hand in hand uh, for my wall, my wall blades, this, this fits perfect. Um, you might want to try not to soak them in water too much. Just uh, clean them with disinfectant, disinfectant and uh, wipe them off. Because if you soak them in water, they'll start to bend a little bit. And uh, that uh, creates a space that they have when they sit on the clipper. So then you, you'll notice that your clipper tends to make some noise once these are uh, bent a little bit. But if you keep them in good shape, I mean, I have like, you know, five of these. Uh, that I just keep clean and I just alternate them at different times. And you know, they, I don't seem to have that problem with them. Uh, but they work great, Wall makes great products. And uh, my next set of uh, clips is the Magnetics. A lot of people have these. Um, I prefer to use these on my speed lines and the uh, Andis Master. They, they uh, fit perfectly on those, those two clippers. This is the uh, 116, and this is the 18. Like I said, they're uh, they're magnetic. They stick to the uh, clipper very well. Put on like this. They just lock into place. You don't ever have to worry about this flying off the clipper or anything like that. That that's that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. And. Uh, <clears throat> They make, uh, they make larger clips like these, but I, I just prefer this size. And when I, like, when I gotta go larger, uh, my uh, number two, I just keep the red one on deck. I like that. So it's, you know, Speedo Guide, it fits on the same way. Fits on the uh, Master, fits on the uh, Speed Line and the Master. Uh, so like I said, you have to go you know, like with some of your larger guards for uh, shaping afros and things like that, I prefer to use these red ones. But uh, all in all, I um, also like to do a lot of clipper over comb blending. So when I do the clipper over comb blending, um, I usually might use a comb like this, or uh, one of these. This works very well. Afros longer curlier hair, you know, sometimes straighter hair when I'm pulling it up, clipper over comb. This is a very good, very good uh, product. And uh, for some of the, the smaller clipper over comb work, uh, around the ear, neck, and you know, the shorter styles, uh, I prefer to use a you know, comb like this. Black Diamond makes very good, you know, solid, uh, sturdy combs. There's nothing worse than a, a comb that bends uh, when you place it against the head. It, if you have a, a very cheap comb, it, you're, you're not, it, it sounds crazy, but uh, you'll cut a lot better with a, with, a, with a hard, good, sharp comb. They just lay the hair down, get it right in the uh, area that you need to, uh, need to get it to, and um, they're very efficient. So it's, it's, it's good to have at least, you know, two or three combs, just depending on the uh, length of the hair and the hair texture, uh, you'll notice. So uh, this is David Warren. These are just a few uh, small accessories that, uh, that I have to make my job a little easier and make sure that I'm producing the uh, best cuts possible. This is Dave King, Los Angeles. Go to learntocut.com. Learn how to cut hair today. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out my next video. Thank you.